Christine Piles, the Youth Services Manager at the Euclid Public Library. I recently learned about a book called Do You Know What I Am? This book is by Bradley Crenshaw and it was illustrated by Lewis Jones. I had the opportunity to sit down with Bradley and Lewis and interview them about their book. Something you may not know is that Lewis is 14 years old and Bradley is 8 years old. Let's see what they had to say about writing and publishing a book. I am joined today by author Bradley Crenshaw and illustrator Lewis Jones. Hi guys. And they wrote a book called Do You Know What I Am? So I have a few questions for you guys and um, feel free to jump in whenever you'd like. How did you get the idea for this book? That it came to my mind. What? It just appeared there one day? Were you inspired by anything? No. No? You just, you just, just have a, a lot of ideas in there, huh? It's just a regular book that I usually write. Cool. And how did Lewis get involved with this project? Um, I, I would try to write on the illustrations, but I, it got, it got, um, I didn't know how to write very good, draw very good. I mean, and then um, I asked my mom, can, um, can you, can you find me an illustrator since the, since drawing is too bad? And then that's where you came in, Lewis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how long have you been an artist? I've been drawing for a couple of years. I remember ever since I was like five. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And what kind of art do you do? Do you prefer to draw? Do you like painting? Any any other types of art? Well, I like to color, but um, I would like to get in, um, to any type of art field, like like watercolor, digital coloring, um, oh. painting. But uh, at the moment, I use um, colored pencils and um, markers. And do you draw all the time? Yes. Like any spare moment that you have, you're drawing? Yeah. I'm That's awesome. Work and stuff. Well, you can't be an artist without making art, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, Bradley, when you started writing this book, did you know it was going to get published? Uh, yes, because I asked. Well, no, but... but I, but I did, I didn't know it was going to be published yet. And then I asked. And the answer was yes. So did you know it was going to be published when you invited Lewis to assist you with this? Yes. Yes. So Lewis was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be a published illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So just talking about the book itself, I noticed that there's a quiz section in the book. And I think this is very smart of you to include because when teachers and librarians read books to kids, they ask questions like this. So did you think about your brothers when you added that part of the story? Yes. When you read to them, do you quiz them? No. No? But what made you, what made you add the quiz? I wanted to see if they could pass it, but once I only did, I only let them do the quiz, but they were too busy and said, no, what, what you gotta wait. Well, the, the quiz is a very good addition. I think it's a perfect book to, for siblings to read to each other because of the quiz questions there. That was great. Have you had a chance to read your book to your brothers? Yes. And what they think, did they like it? No. They do no. like it. They like no. it. Well, I he, like it. He's yes, the only they, person who likes they, your book. They like your they book. They fall asleep <laughs> when they hear me. Because you're me. reading them to sleep. That's the whole purpose. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure they're very supportive. They are. Yeah. So what did you need to do to get your book published? Oh, we. I wrote the book and then... Um, Drew, drew, and then Lou drew the pictures, and then it became a book. Then my mom did what? What did I do? Then my book? mom um, made the words. Right. I typed it out. You chose the fonts, right? You told me what font you liked. Mm -hmm. And then we had Auntie Emmy look it over for errors. 
And we have Madison look it over for errors, right? Yes. And then what else? I had to do what? Send it to make it a regular book. Right, to upload it. Cool. Well, we oh, have yeah. three copies of the book here at the library. So patrons can come in at any time and get a copy of Do You Know What I Am? So I learned about your book in the Euclid Schools weekly call out that they send out to parents. Did you get famous at school after that? No, not yet because I don't know. He's doing virtual right now. Ah. But a couple of the um, lunch ladies, they came and they told me that they saw the weekly call out and they wanted to purchase his book. And then the school nurse purchased his book. And then and I Pierce. read and then I read my book to three um classrooms. Right. That's awesome. What about you, Lewis? Are you a celebrity in your school? Uh well really, not really. Um I yeah like like Bradley, I am uh virtual. So uh since I'm virtual I don't really like to be honest, it's not like at school where we like socialize and things like that. We just we just get the um instructions from our teacher and then go. So nobody really knows, um, so, um, except for uh, my two friends that actually have the phone number. They're really the only two people that know I was able to like draw for a book, so. Yeah. Guess what? When this video goes up on YouTube, everyone will know. <laughs> Are you ready for that level of celebrity? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so do you guys have any other ideas for other books in the future? Uh, yes. So we're about, what's the next book we're doing? My, the next book we're doing is um The, the Bully Next Gen, but this one isn't from Lou this time. I got a different author. Illustrator. Illustrator for this time. No yeah. hard feelings, right, Lou? Uh, oh, no. I'm, I, I was actually able to uh, uh, draw for another book, which I'm currently um, illustrating for. Wow. Well, okay. yeah, can, you tell, can you tell us about that project? Yeah, it's called The Gray Flower, and um, I'm il basically um, illustrating for it. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah for for was, Andrew. Yeah. yeah it for was my youngest son. Ah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And you guys, you guys are cousins, right? Yes. yes. Cool. Um, do you do any other kind of writing, Bradley? No, not yet. Not yet. What do you Just... like to do? You like to do what with songs? Draw and no, make up your what songs? Make up my my make up my own uh, own rhyming songs. So songs and maybe like poems. Yeah, yes. I made a poem yeah. yesterday night. Awesome! That sounds great. And are you a writer at all, Lewis? I can't remember. Or stri strictly strictly drawing no no actually i actually like to uh, come up with my own stories like sometimes like i draw and a lot of people always ask me like a common question i get is like uh, who is that is it a person so i actually start thinking like what if it actually is a character so sometimes um, i'll draw somebody and like make a story about them i don't know it's like i don't know it's like an additional thing that i do with my yeah, so it is it a way just to keep your creative juices going? Yeah. 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 Do you do mm -hmm. any other creative things? Mm -mm. Not really. No? Yep. But I, I think the art part is very cool. Do you take any art classes at school? Uh, yeah, I am inside of an um, art class right now. Um, with I actually had like two, no, three. But the other one that I have, one of them out of uh, the three, I actually uh, have this like digital art, so it's like um like I get to like create models and stuff. It's called the 3D modeling class. And you so, like yeah. that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Would you consider using that type of artwork to illustrate a book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um I'm, I'm actually trying to like save up some of my money so that I can try to get my own like pad and uh like stylus pen so that I can uh, start doing like more digital art. That's awesome. Do you have any advice for kids, either one of you, who want to publish a book or um, publish their artwork in the world? Uh, yes. Lay it on us. What you got? Um, 
I can tell them to, I can encourage them to, and if they need help, ask the teachers, ask the parents, uh, ask me and my mom. Awesome. What about you, Lou? <laughs> Any advice? Oh yeah, um, for like art people that's inside the art uh, field that want to do any books or even like uh, authors, I just want to say like you have to have like some time on your hands and try not to like rush it. But you don't like yeah, just try not to like rush um, uh, what you're doing and try to take your time uh, and uh, just be as creative as uh, possible. Awesome. Well, what I'm going to do. We'll add it to this video. I'm going to read your book another time. So we're going to add that to the video at the end. Um, I'm excited to see you guys get famous when we post this video on our YouTube. So I'm really excited about that. And don't forget, if you are interested in getting Bradley and Lewis's book, you can check it out from the library. You can visit euclidlibrary.org. There's a little search bar at the top of our website. And you can type in the title of the book, or you can type in Bradley's name, Bradley Crenshaw. So thank you so much, Bradley and Lewis, for joining me today. I appreciate your time. And I'm looking forward to you guys being celebrities. Thank you so much for meeting with me, Bradley and Lewis. I really appreciate it. We have three copies of Do You Know What I Am on the shelf at Euclid Public Library. So please place a hold today. Finally, I'd like to read the book to you. Do You Know What I Am? Written by Bradley T. Crenshaw and illustrated by Lewis Jones. Do You Know What I Am? One day, an animal was walking in the woods. He was all alone and there was no other animal who looked like him. He wanted to know what he was. The animal saw a spider spinning its web on a fence. He walked over and asked, Do you know what I am? The spider replied, I think you are a moose because you have golden fur. Yes, I think so too, he hesitantly replied. The animal continued his walk through the woods and saw a crabby crab. He asked the crabby crab, Do you know what I am? No, I do not know what you are, the Krabby Crab yelled. Now leave me alone before I pinch you. The animal continued his walk through the woods. He heard a loud sound coming from the sky. He looked up and saw bright lights over his head. A spaceship landed and an alien came out. He asked the alien, do you know what I am? The alien pulled out his scanner and scanned the animal. In a robotic voice, the alien replied, An earthling mammal. The animal continued his walk in the woods and came to a small pond. While there, he saw another animal that looked just like him. The other animal had antlers like him. He had the same fur and the same bushy tail. He was so happy to see someone who looked like him. He asked excitedly, do you know what I am? The other animal replied, I think you are a reindeer. Go in the water and see if you get wet. If you stay dry, then you are a reindeer. He went into the pond. 10 minutes later. He said, I am still dry. I am a reindeer. He finally knew what he was. The reindeer invited the spider, the alien, the crabby crab, and the other reindeer to a forest party. They played and partied happily ever after. What was the problem? A, the reindeer did not know what it was. B, the reindeer had nothing to drink for days. Or C, the reindeer did not know how tall he was. Let's see if you can answer it. How did the reindeer solve his problem? 
A. He did nothing. B. He asked questions. C. He cried. Where did the reindeer find the answer? A. In the forest. B. While talking to the alien. Or C. He saw an animal that looked like him. About the author. Hi, I'm Bradley and I'm eight years old. I started writing stories to read to my brothers at bedtime. Writing is not the only thing I like to do. I also like to jump on the trampoline, ride my bike, and scooter. I hope you enjoyed this story. About the illustrator. Hi, my name is Louis D. Jones. I am a boy from Ohio and love to draw. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. That was Do You Know What I Am? Written by Bradley T. Crenshaw and illustrated by Lewis Jones.